My husband Robert and I were on IVF for nine long years with no success. During our treatment cycles, we suffered four miscarriages and one ectopic pregnancy, resulting in my tube being removed. We just kept hoping that the next transfer would lead to a successful pregnancy. During the treatments, our lives were on an emotional roller coaster. We watched our friends around us having babies, and of course with no problems, and yet it just wasn't happening for us. I'd been diagnosed with idiopathic infertility, hence no medical reasons as to why I couldn't fall pregnant naturally. Then after going through such de despair for so long, for so many years, my sister Laura brought us light at the end of the tunnel. Laura and her husband Dom suggested the notion of surrogacy. They'd completed their family of two beautiful children, Serena and Lockie, and offered us an oven for our embryos. <laughs> so after many discussions and a few glasses of wine, <laughs> we decided to proceed with the notion of a surrogate arrangement. Then the fun really started, as we had many more hurdles placed in front of us. Laura and Dom were living in far north Queensland, Robert and I were living in Melbourne, and the transfers had to be carried out in Sydney at the time, as surrogacy wasn't allowed in Victoria. However, after two long years, and all four of us being subjected to psychological assessments, counselling, medical testings, medical testing and being given legal guidance, our darling daughter Phoebe was born. Once she was born and came into our lives, the previous years of heartache just melted away. Phoebe has brought more joy into our worlds than anyone could ever have imagined. Words cannot express our joy when possum was raised into the air and pronounced to be a healthy eight pound, eight ounce baby girl. I was given the very proud honor of cutting the umbilical cord because as you can imagine, not my, many mothers are in this position. <laughs> Laura and I shared a room at the hospital and I was instantly thrown into being a mum. By choice, Laura did not breastfeed Phoebe but was very happy to express milk for her. I was overwhelmed to hold my darling daughter Phoebe in my arms and to realise she was finally here and we finally had our baby at long last. Laura's two children visited the hospital to meet their very special cousin and gave her a big cuddle. Lockie was only two and Serena four but we tried as best as we could to explain that as Fiona could not carry a baby in her tummy, she was grown in Laura's tummy. Pippi, Serena and Lockie have always told, been told the truth about how Pippi arrived into the world, including the part about being stored in the freezer for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Our darling daughter will be one of many special children who are brought into this world, and due to the fantastic advances in medical technology that can allow many others to become a family in a very special and unique way.